Disclaimer, the events depicted in these videos are based on real incidents. This video has been created for educational and entertainment purposes only. The safety of passengers and crew members is of the utmost importance. Welcome to Air Crash Chronicles, the channel that explores the mysteries behind some of the biggest air disasters in history. So shortly, it was in Sixth City, Iowa, July 19, 1989. United Airlines Flight 232 and McDonnell Douglas DC-10 was a scheduled passenger flight from Stapleton International Airport in Denver, with an on-road stop in Chicago, Illinois. On July 19, 1989, at 2.09 p.m., Flight 232 departed to Denver with 285 passengers and 11 crew members on board. About one hour and seven minutes after takeoff, at approximately 1516, the flight crew heard a loud bang followed by vibration and shuddering of the airframe. The flight crew checked the engine instruments and determined that the number two engine had failed and they initiated the engine shutdown checklist. While performing the shutdown checklist, the flight crew noted that the aircraft's thermal system, hydraulic pressure, and quantity gauges indicated zero. The number two engine failure had been caused by a catastrophic uncontained fan disc burst that resulted in engine debris damaging the aircraft's three hydraulic systems that were located in the tail section of the aircraft. The airplane was minimally controllable by the use of asymmetric thrust control. The crew managed to maneuver the airplane to the venicity of Sex City, Iowa at 4 p.m. after being cleared to land at Sox Gateway Airport in Sex City, Iowa. The airplane experienced a crash landing while attempting to land on runway 22. There were 111 fatalities, 47 series, and 100. 25 minor injuries from this accident. Welcome to Air Crash Chronicles, the channel that delves deep into the thrilling and terrifying world of aviation disasters. Today we take a closer look at the tragic events surrounding United Airlines Flight 232, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 that met with disaster on that fateful day in Sex City. Iowa. Brace yourselves for an unforgettable tale of heroism, tragedy, and the will to survive. It was July 19, 1989, when United Airlines Flight 232, bearing the registration N1819U, departed from Stapleton International Airport in Denver, Colorado, with 285 passengers and 11 crew members on board. This fateful flight was bound for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, with a scheduled en route stop in Chicago, Illinois. One hour and seven minutes after takeoff, at approximately 1516 CDT, the calmness of the cockpit was shattered by a loud bang, instantly followed by violent vibrations and shuddering of the airframe. The flight crew swung into action the training and experience kicking in. The flight crew quickly assessed the situation and determined that the number two engine located at the toll of the aircraft had failed. Without missing a bit, they initiated the engine shutdown checklist, well aware of the critical importance of every second that ticked away. However, as they went through the shutdown checklist, a horrifying realization struck them. The aircraft's three hydraulic systems, located in the tail section, had been severely damaged by the debris from the catastrophic, uncontained fan disc burst. With the hydraulic pressure and quantity gauges showing zero, the aircraft was left at the mercy of gravity. Yet, in the face of this dire situation, the flight crew refused to surrender hope. Through sheer determination, they managed to gain limited control over the aircraft using asymmetric thrust control. The crippled DC-10, now unsteady in the sky, the brave crew redirected their focus towards finding a suitable landing site. 
The closest airfield was Six Gateway Airport in Six City, Iowa. With 111 lives hanging in the balance, the flight crew received permission to land on runway 22 of Six Gateway Airport. The tension was palpable at the DC-10 made its final descent. At 16 p.m., amidst a nail-baiting atmosphere, the aircraft made a crash landing. Its damaged undercarriage unable to absorb the immense impact of the landing. The consequences were devastating. 111 lives were lost, 47 people were severely injured, and 125 others suffered minor injuries. Lessons learned. Fanhub failures of large, high-bypass turbofan engines constitute a potentially catastrophic threat to the airplane. A double vacuum arc rammelled, manufacturing process for critical, high-energy, rotating titanium engine components is inadequate to consistently produce defect-free parts. System redundancy and isolation should include assessment of both physical and zonal hazards. Reliance on repetitive inspections of critical engine components has inherent reliability limitations. The type and frequency of non-destructive tests being employed should consider detection reliability as well as the consequences of failure to detect a flaw. The tragedy of United Airlines Flight 232 shook the world, leaving a lasting impact on the aviation industry. It brought to light important lessons in aircraft design, maintenance procedures, and emergency response. Join us next time on Air Crash Chronicles as we delve further into the world of aviation disasters, the triumphs and shortcomings that shape this remarkable industry. Remember, knowledge and understanding pave the path to safer skies. Until then, stay safe and keep your eyes on the skies.